All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to program hotkeys using the Lightspeed platform. Now, hotkeys are really essential when it comes to day trading because it just makes order entry so much more efficient. You don't really want to be wasting time having to come to drop down menus and selecting the order type you want and then typing in the amount of shares you want and then typing in the price that you want. That takes way too much time. When you can be focusing on what the charts are saying, what level two is saying, and by having your hand already in place on a hotkey that is programmed to do what you want it to do, you're going to be much faster in executing those trades. So what we're going to do is come up to the top left where it says utilities, click configuration settings. A little box is going to pop up with a bunch of tabs at the top. We're going to click custom orders and then come down here to create new command. Now, first thing you want to do is give it a, a name and you want to name it something that is associated with what that hotkey is programmed to do. So if we wanted to buy 500 shares on the ask, okay, we're going to make sure that we click buy. We're going to type in the market that we want to route it to. I like to route mine to NASDAQ, so NSDQ is what I'm going to type in there. Leave that as limit, and what we're going to do is click on ask. So what this is basically saying is I want to buy 500 shares at whatever price is at the top of the ask. So if there's shares available, then I will get filled my full order. But sometimes there's not enough shares available at whatever price is at the top of the ask. So I normally do a little offset, and this is saying place a limit order three cents above the ask so I can more than likely get filled my whole order. Now, even if I place an order three cents above the ask at 390, doesn't mean I'm going to get filled at 390 because the best price at this time is 387. So I like to do a little offset there. You can do whatever you want. So over here on the order size, we're going to click quantity and then type in 500 because we're trying to buy 500 shares. Come down here to click quantity again and then 500. And now we need to map this custom command to a key. So we're going to click map key now. And personally, I like to have all my hotkeys in the spot that is comfortable to press with my left hand because my left hand is making all the orders while my right hand is looking at the charts. I'm zooming in and out of the charts and looking at prices and everything. I don't really like taking my right hand off of my mouse to do something on my keyboard needing both hands. I just, you know, the right hand is to control the charts left hand to do the orders and that's my personal preference but really do whatever feels the most comfortable for you so I like to do mine as uh, the control button normally on this you have to click two keys for it to go through it's not just one you want two keys to uh, make that order so I do control and then for this action if I wanted to buy shares I will do control D so this little letter right here in red means I have to hit the control button plus the letter D if I just hit the control button nothing's gonna happen if I just hit the D button nothing's gonna happen I have to hit them at the same time so I click on this and then click map and then to save it click OK so now all I have to do is hit control D and I'm buying 500 shares at 385 for the stock SEEL. We'll do another one here. Come up to utilities, configuration settings, custom orders, create new command. Now let's do a sell order. Let's say that I bought for 500 shares and I want to sell half of my position if I'm up on the trade just to lock in some profits. So I can do sell half position. So since this is a sell order, I'm going to click sell. I want to route to NASDAQ. Leave that as limit. Now you can choose sell on the ask or you can sell on the bid. It, it really depends. I have hotkeys to do both. I have a hotkey to sell on the ask and I have a hotkey to sell on the bid. Depending on what the situation is, I'm going to use one or the other. But let's say that we want to lock in some ECN rebates and sell on the ask, get as much as we can. So we're going to sell on the ask, leave that as zero because we're trying to sell whatever price is at the top of the ask. So we're going to this time click close out 
and then click this drop down menu and then click half position. So this is telling us to sell half position. If we somehow added to our position, our 500 share position, now we have a thousand share position. It doesn't matter how big that position is, it's going to sell half. Come down here to tiers, make sure that's clicked. Come down to the drop down menu, click half. Then now we're going to map the key. Now again, I like to do uh, control for all my custom orders, but you can do whatever you want. I'll do control S because I'm selling half. So we'll come down and find the S, control S, click map, and then OK. So that saved that button. I'm going to do one more. Click utilities, configuration settings, custom orders, create new command. This one, I really like this one. We can use a stop order. I like to place my stop immediately once I'm in a trade. So in order to do this, we're going to give it a name. Stop 10 cents below position. So what I'm trying to do here is whatever I get filled at, let's say I bought at 500 shares, 383 right now. As soon as I hit my button to buy that, I want to hit another button to automatically place a stop order that's live. It's instant. So what it's going to do is place a stop order at 373. So we're going to click sell and we're going to click stop. Now stops are marketable orders so you don't have to type in anything right here. And then we come over to this drop down menu and click position price. So no matter what the price is that you get filled at, and I hit this button to set a stop order, it's going to automatically place that order 10 cents below my position price. So if I want to stop you know, all my position, I'll just do close out, full position, tiers, leave that as one. And then map key, and again, you can choose whatever you want on here. We'll do control X. So control X would be my stop uh, key and then click OK. Now you can r really get granular with this stuff. There's all kinds of things that you can do on here. Uh, you know, you can sell at the bid, sell at the ask, buy at the bid, buy at the ask, stop at your cost basis, use a market order, um, all kinds of things. You can also come over to this keyboard tab, click on keyboard. You're going to see all your orders here that are associated with the different keys that you have programmed. You can program uh, cancel orders. You know, I, I see a lot of brokers, you have to you know, do a confirm cancel and it just takes too much time. You can program a key just to cancel your orders and there's all kinds of things that you can do on here. You can cancel the last order, cancel every order that you have out there, cancel for all the stocks, cancel for a selected stock. Um, you know, you can get really granular with all this stuff. So hotkeys really essential, but that's the basics of programming your hotkeys with Lightspeed. Hope you all learned something. Thank you so much for watching.